Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the Pringles Ring Challenge, also known as the Pringles Circle Challenge. So basically no glue, tape, anything to hold it together besides friction and gravity. So at the end, I'm going to have uh, one of my friends from Science with Bexy. She's going to explain the physics behind it very easily. And I'll have a link in my description and to be able to point you where you can get that information. All right, so today's experiment is uh, we're going to make the Pringles loop, right? So we're going to make a complete circle of Pringles. No glue, no tape, no nothing. Just the Pringles itself and the gravity and the friction that holds it together. I'm going to try to do it kind of like what I did with uh, Leonardo's uh, arch bridge. I'm going to do it with the Pringles, but try to do a complete circle. So I've never done this before, though I did buy um, the generic brand, trying to save some money. And uh, the generic brand where the Pringles are arched more, which is going to help me here, I'm assuming. The other ones were straight, the, the non-Pringles. Uh, and uh, even though they the same shape, they, weren't, they were flat. So I never got the arc, and so it did not work. And so that's why I'm trying the Pringles now. So I think the key to this is going to be building a nice base so I could support um, the, the friction coming up on the side. So this is in fast forward mode and the hardest part was trying to get that base going. As you could see, I had to restart here and uh, once I got the feel of what the base was like, then I started going forward. Uh, I started using uh, two at a time, which worked really good for me as I used one and then laid the other one halfway over it, kind of like the center of mass holding that other one so it would arc up on the, the ring to be able to make those walls go up. I also had to continue to add the base as it started to tilt or started sliding sideways so I was continuously um, adjusting it so it wouldn't tip all the way over. It's not, it's not as easy as it looks, right? So now I was about halfway there. I switched from putting all the chips on the bottom inside uh, to like some on the inside of the, of the chip. So I was splitting the chips open and kind of sliding one down in between. Worked really well. As it slid down, the friction would hold it together. Um, which made it work a lot better and allowed me to go the height I needed to go to complete that circle. <laughs> it's not a complete circle, <laughs> but I was able to get it to go all the way around, um, which is pretty cool. Here it is a little bit closer. You can see my base is pretty big. You can see the sides on how they were sliding right into one to the other, which is pretty cool. All right, so to try to figure out the, the arc on here on the, the, the Pringles itself, the radius, right? Um, we're going to measure the inside. So when I take this and measure it, it's about 11, uh, about 11 centimeters um, in, di in diameter, right? So uh, which is going to give us a curvature uh, here on the radius. So to be able to figure out um, what the radius is. And so it's probably around about five and a half. And now, of course, this isn't a perfect circle. So it can vary on that. It's a good guesstimate. But uh, basically what it's doing is when you put down the, um, the Pringle, it's basically saying the first one could be about the center of mass, could be about that far over. And then as long as you keep going, it'll go a little bit shorter each chip, which gives it the, um, and then when you get the weight in there of putting more in the middle, um, it's able to extend it all the way out and it can con it continues to do that. And as it gets up to the top, then you have uh, these two chips here, and when you slide one in between, the friction from the back chip and the front chip are pushing against it to hold it in place um, so you can continue to go around, which is pretty cool. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Betsy, and I'm so glad that you enjoyed Ken's demonstration of the Pringle Challenge. So, if you want to find out the science behind the trick, then please head over to my channel now, Science with Betsy, and watch my explanation episode and find out how it works. Hope to see you over there.